Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be an entire haul of skincare that I have repurchased. I'm so excited. These are products that I absolutely love. I think what we'll do for today's video is we'll make this a little bit of a shorter video because everything in this video I think everything I've talked about a lot on my channel. So what we'll do is we'll talk briefly about these products. And if you're interested in more info, I'll do the directing you to long videos in the cards in the corner of the screen. That should work, right? And also pretty much everything in this video was purchased with my own money. With one exception, Good Molecules actually reached out to me and said, hey, pick a couple products, we'll send them to you in PR. And so I just kind of transferred my shopping cart to them so they actually sent me products that I was planning on buying anyway. But thanks Good Molecules, I do appreciate that. Do you want to just go ahead and start with the Good Molecules products? So I got the Facial Cleansing Mitts in purple. See I just absolutely love these. I do not like to use the disposable cloths. They fit over your hand like this and you can just use these in any kind of way that you would use any disposable cloth or a washcloth. It's so much better than a washcloth though, it's just easier to use. I love these. I can never see myself going back to the disposable cloths. These work. But do keep one thing in mind with cloths like this, especially if you're using them to apply a toner or essence. Do make sure that you are using a detergent in your washing machine that is not going to cause you problems. I use unscented detergents. That's what I recommend for most people, especially if you have sensitive skin. And then I also finished up my caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. Uh, by by the way, they also, I also picked out the new BHA gel and the Bakuchiol from Good Molecule. So I'll talk about those in another video. Those are new products to me, but grateful to get to try them. And then I bought another of the Pixie Clarity Tonic. I just absolutely love this. It's very accessible. It's available at CVS, available at Target, or the Pixie website. It's one of my favorites. I don't like that the price has creeped up a little bit, but it's a great product and it actually does contain salicylic acid. That's a little harder to find in a toner, but if you have acne prone skin, you may want that. You know, you may not want just the other BHA options, which I see a lot more in toners, you may want to go with salicylic. In Korean skincare, and kind of a repurchase, the Secret Key Starting Treatment Rose Essence. I say kind of because I had previously been sent the uh, original version of this through Stylevana. I went back and bought the rose version. So I did finish the original. It's going to be in my next empties video. Here's the thing. I am surprised that I finished an essence. In my previous empties video, I had been saying essence lasts for so long, but the trick with this one is to pour it into a spray bottle. I used an old bottle from Nola Skin Essentials toners. I, I poured this into that, well, the other version, and oh my gosh, I loved it. I found myself wanting to do the seven step much more often, which I, I feel like when you're just using an essence and pouring it into your hands, doing that seven times is a bit exhausting, but you really do see this increase in hydration in your skin. There really is a reason that people like the seven step method. So switching over to the spray bottle, I would just go one, wait, two, wait, you get the idea. We won't, we won't take all that time here. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love doing that. My skin looks so plump, it looks so hydrated, so I bought another to do the exact same thing. I haven't yet, but I'm going to dump this into that spray bottle and just keep going. I love mist in an essence form. Wait a minute, essence in a mist form, there we go. My Stradia Liquid Gold. This has to be one of my favorite discoveries so far of 2021. So this is a lightweight skin strengthening moisturizer. I would say this is such a healing and restorative moisturizer. You know, I had a great comment or question really on my Instagram. So I'll go ahead and actually reiterate that question and answer it here. I posted about how much I love this and someone asked, what is the difference between this, which I was calling a healing product, and the Cosarex Snail Mucin, which I also call a healing product. You know what, let me even throw in a third, the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Serum. All of those are healing products. What's the difference? Do you need all three? Do you just need one? What I would tell you is that all three of those are indeed healing products, but they are different types of products, a serum, an essence, a moisturizer. I think that with products like this, you just kind of have to ask yourself, 
which of those will fit best into your routine. And specifically with liquid gold, I think it might even help to give you some additional information in that for me, I actually like this as a first moisturizer. It's a bit of a different product. It's almost very lightweight and yet somehow very restorative. So yes, as somebody who has very dry skin, I put this on my skin and then I put an even more occlusive moisturizer on top. That is just a recipe for my skin to be improved the next day no matter how much I done messed up my skin, which please don't ever think that I don't mess up my skin. I have access to a lot of products, which isn't always a good thing. Let me just tell you that honestly. It's not always a good thing. Sometimes, often, I overdo things. But yeah, as for this product, ceramide, sea buckthorn oil, niacinamide, it's just a great combination of ingredients with really not a lot that could uh, potentially irritate your skin. That's something that I like a lot about the Stradia brand. I think that in general, it is a very non-irritating brand. So in contrast to the Cosarex Snail Essence, where it's possible to have a snail allergy, that might not work out for you. With Glow Recipe, it's possible that all of the plant ingredients they use might be too much on your skin. That's why I really like like recommending this one. I think it is in general a much safer recommendation. Although do watch my video as I talk more about the scent in it, the potential cons that obviously didn't stop me from buying another, but just those things that you should know. And then I also made another little Rosen haul. I actually really wanted to make sure I talk about this because I did repurchase the Tropics moisturizer. If you saw, I think it was my empties again, where I talked about this, my original Tropics, I had it in the little fade kit that they sell. I wasn't super impressed with that product because it had some kind of like grains to it but I had a feeling that it was just that batch, and that is indeed true. This one does not have the graininess to it. On that note, let me reiterate something pretty important with buying from these much more, I guess, straightforward brands, for lack of a better description. So a lot of these smaller brands don't really have a lot of stabilizers and emulsifiers, ingredients that we sometimes call filler ingredients, as they don't really do anything for your skin, but they do things for that product itself. Which is all to say that if you go indie, you may notice that some of your products have different consistencies. You may have to stir them up before you use them, and you may have inconsistency from batch to batch. That's just because those products are made without those added ingredients. To be clear, those ingredients aren't necessarily bad. I know that some people call them bad, but you know, again, they're there to improve the experience for the customer, but some people don't want that. So it just all depends on what you want. Always, that's always what it comes down to with skincare. But woo, the ingredients list on this is just absolutely phenomenal. Again, it's gonna be a short ingredients list because it doesn't have those emulsifiers and other such ingredients. It is just beautiful. This is made with kojic acid. Rosen is a, a black owned brand. Kojic acid is an excellent alternative to some of the much more uh, intense brightening ingredients. It will help to uh, improve hyperpigmentation and it may potentially be a better choice for people of a much deeper skin tone. I thought this was gonna be an easy video. Here I'm having a lot of complicated conversations, but you know, the thing with AHAs and vitamin C is they just may or may not work for everybody. So I think what I'm trying to say here is that kojic acid is another potential alternative. So if you haven't had luck with those ingredients for treating hyperpigmentation, you may wanna try a kojic acid based product. And again, this one, you know, really has a very simple, straight to the point ingredients list. Another of my Bright Citrus Serum. I got the new packaging this time, and then I also got the Tingling Mud Mask. This is one of those products where I had finished it and I thought, oh, I'm probably not gonna repurchase it because I think it's more for oily skin, but then I missed it. You know how that goes. Whenever you uh, finish a product and then you miss it, that's when you go, oh, I guess I really did like that product. Just know that this one is quite rich in tea tree oil, which again, another ingredient that works for some people, but not for everybody, as technically that is an essential oil. I'm just surprised how well this works though. Tea tree oil, zinc oxide, and bentonite clay. Yeah, it surprisingly works on my dry skin. I just don't leave it on too long. My Indie Lee Coenzyme Q10 Toner. Oh my goodness, I love this. One thing I will tell you with this is watch the Alta site. We have been able to catch this at 50% off 
quite a few at times, so I'm very thankful for that because it is, it is a bit of a pricier toner, but it is so beautiful. Now, let me go ahead and show you what a new beautiful coenzyme Q10 toner looks like. Look at that beautiful, the glass packaging that I love. This does open, by the way. Y'all know when I find out I cannot remove a lid from a glass container, I don't buy that product anymore. I get mad about it. My last two items are Free Gift Fridays. Let me tell you a little bit about Free Gift Friday in case you don't know. So uh, New Beauty, who does the New Beauty at Test Tube, they started doing this Free Gift Friday thing where you pay only shipping. It's a little bit of a high shipping price, so it may be a little more than shipping is my suspicion. In my opinion, in my opinion, let me cover my butt over here, y'all know how it goes. It's $10. It's $10 and you get whatever product is featured for that $9.95 shipping rate. The thing about uh, New Beauty Friday, or free, free Gift Friday rather, is that you do have to be kind of quick. They send you a, uh, a, a text message and through that text message you make your purchase. You have to put your phone number back in. So you do have to sign up for this is what I'm trying to convey here. I'll have a link below, not any kind of an affiliated link. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice program. Just the one tip I would give you is don't see it as necessarily a free gift because I've seen a few things pop up on there that have just been really underwhelming and then I've seen a few really good finds. Did you all see the 107 skincare? That one I posted to Instagram. I also managed to get the Dr. Dennis Gross Stress Rescue Super Serum through this and this was amazing. This was an absolutely amazing find because I really, really enjoyed this line. I finished everything that I had originally been sent in PR and I admit I was missing having these around. Once again, beautiful glass packaging, beautiful ingredients, very rich in adaptogens. That's the idea of the line. I'll link the video so I don't have to tell you everything and make this video too long. And then along with that, I got another of the COI Smile, COI and Smile Lift Reusable Wrinkle Smoothing in Patches. I know I talked about these before, but I'm not sure which video. So I guess really quickly, I'll close out this video by telling you a little bit more about these. So here's the thing, these are wrinkle smoothing patches. They're just little silicone patches that you put anywhere on your face where you may be dealing with fine lines. I wanna emphasize fine lines because here's the thing, I think that this will really help you out if you're a bit younger, if you're maybe late 20s, early 30s, I think you could see incredible results with these because I do. But that's where these CO pads do come in for me. I think that what they do is they just kind of help you to smooth out your skin. So especially if you wear these overnight, I think that it potentially maybe it gives you a Botox alternative overnight. Because you have to think about what Botox actually does. It just freezes your face. If you are sticking a piece of silicone where you may be prone to scrunching up your face, I think that could, you know, again, temporarily help you to decrease that. Will it work on deep wrinkles? I don't know. I don't want to say yes because I suspect the answer is no. But yeah, they're really neat if you're looking for kind of a more of an anti-aging prevention approach. I absolutely do recommend these. And that is it for my repurchases haul. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any favorites that you continue to repurchase. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.